Hi, and welcome to another C++ programming tutorial from Someone9031. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys about the this pointer in C++. So let's get started. Um, this is the rectangle class that I wrote for my object pointer tutorial with uh, one simple modification, which is I replace the set length and set width functions with a single set dimension function, which takes two doubles and I got rid of most of the code in here. So basically the this pointer is a special pointer um, that is used within a um, when within a member function um, and it refers to um, the object that the member function was called on. So let's say for example um, we had our rectangle R object called setDim R dot setDim what we'd actually be doing is um, that this pointer is not actually part of the object. It is passed in um, to the member function through a hidden argument. So basically, r dot set dim and nine four is the same as um, set dim, and then the first object. The first is a hidden argument which is the arg uh, the address of r and then 9 and 4 however you can't actually use the second version it's just what it act it's actually interpreted as um, so then within the um, member function you are able to use the um, address of the object that is that the member function is being called on. So when you set length equals L, C++ is actually adding this. So the um, we're actually modifying the length of the current object. So most uses of it are implicit, which means C++ does it automatically, but you can do this. However, it is completely unnecessary. Um, more often, the this pointer is actually used um, to return the current object. So if we did this, so the set dimension would actually return a rectangle reference. So return this, like that. And um, it can also be used to delete um, the current object. So self destruct. So delete this, something like that. So basically, that is the use of. The, this pointer is not all that useful, except for the other, except for the two examples that I mentioned. And yeah, this is the end of the tutorial. If you like this video, please subscribe, rate, and if you have any uh, feedback, comments, or questions about this or any other C++ topic, feel free to leave a comment, or you can message me on YouTube. Thanks for watching.